Welcome back to the Timmy B tournament right here on twitch.tv slash the Robin Dan show brick hard castle casting with me here. Good afternoon. Once again, brick. And good evening. Once again, Mr. Leetonator. It, and is, it, we, it is late <laughs> evening over there, isn't it? Late evening is getting on to night now, but, uh, <laughs> but who's counting? Anyway, uh, we have the third game tonight. It's been very fun so far and mm -hmm. we're going on to water hazard, a beautiful map. Uh, the amount of clouds and rain in it sometimes tax my graphics card a little bit, but but uh, you know it, it's fair enough. It, it's well deserved for a beautiful map. Uh, in any event, um, we have some fairly inexperienced looking pilots actually in here. It seems like we have a couple new teams. By the way, team votes are up for those that out that are interested in our chat room. You can type exclamation vote exclamation point team vote space red or exclamation point team vote space blue for which team you think is going to win. And, and we'll, uh, we'll go over those vote numbers at the end of our introduction here. Uh, we have flying today uh, a couple brand new holy folks, it looks like. Yes, it does. Um, Falcon here, um, the uh, ripe old uh, level of level three uh, flying Azarin's worship. It's a mid-range uh, Hades Flacomidian. Yeah, he only uh, has 127 matches in total. Mm. Ooh, brave, brave individual for being so new to the game still to step up like this. We'll see how well he can he can do here. Well, I mean, this tournament, I mean, only semi-serious. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, it's it it's fair enough. I mean, why not test out some of your newer, more upcoming pilots in this kind of environment? Certainly, fair uh, enough. As for as for teams, we have the Holy Celestium Order. That's the holy folks, the uh, Os Osazarin's Warship. Is that how you <laughs> pronounce that? I I believe you're correct. Okay. We also have the Merry Men's second team, the Men in Tights, or I believe it's the first team. I'm not too sure exactly. Uh, Regato <laughs> piloting the kids with guns. I've flown against that that junker, and it is a pain. And we also have the Hydra, uh, the Brotherhood team, piloted by Trivi and the Big Stick. Uh, Hail Hydra! Hail Hydra! <laughs> <laughs> We also have on the other side of things the Crimson Sky Menace. They have named their team after their clan, and I am so grateful for it. Thank yes. you. Thank you for being sensible, Crimson Sky Menace. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. We also have the Brotherhood's team, the Brotherhood with the pointy spear. And lastly, we have Viva La Dragons, piloted by Sir Morty and the Magnet. He's actually flying a galleon on this one. Who? Yes. Brave Sir Morty flies astride his magnet uh, with a couple cake people and a non-clan guy. I was calling uh, the shadow. We know Shadow Spinner. Um, the, these folks are all kind of friends. Uh, Incognitus is actually someone I have streamed. Uh, God, what is it? Um, this or a cleanup detail with before. Interesting. I I am an underground fan of God. It sounds so hipster. I I am a big <laughs> hidden fan of Viscera Cleanup Detail. I've streamed it a couple times. It is fun. Did you like Viscera Cleanup Detail before it was cool? I mean, before the corporations ruined it for everyone. Did the corporations ruin it yet? Yeah, it just became so passe after that. Did Did you not oh, hear? Dear. I th I uh, think he enjoyed it before it was clean. <laughs> oh. Wow. That was bad. Once again, that folks, exclamation point <laughs> team vote space blue or exclamation point team vote space red in our Twitch chat room. And you can vote for which team you think is going to win this one. Again, map is water hazard, uh, the bane of all CPUs on the planet. Uh, just Rex. Rex computers at times. It is a fun map, though. Very open, lots of clouds, and some some blockage that you can use as cover. Fun map, though. Yes, indeed. Uh, it's good to see two Brotherhood teams here. Mm -hmm. uh, Brotherhood, relatively new clan, uh, formed by Byron Cavendish, of course, famed for his success as part of the Gentleman, 
now has branched out on his own with a brand new clan. I'm interested to see how they do. I was, I was eager to see if the Brotherhood was going to be able to get into the Hephaestus Challenge, but they were simply too new at the time and did not have the active membership to do it. Fair enough. But we are looking to, to hopefully have them involved in tournaments the, throughout the fall season. Another team, well, there's a couple teams I'm eager to to uh, keep an eye out for. One, of course, is 404. 404, the Comeback Kids, which uh, they, they actually came back in a single week from a 3-0 and a 4-0 deficit back-to-back. Absolutely mm. insane. Mm. Uh, it, did the... Uh, Rob, did the vote finish? Uh, yeah, I just ended the vote. Uh, looks like there might be some weird issues with chat, though. Oh, we ha- we're having some chat issues, folks. So, yeah, I was wondering why that stuff did not report in chat. So, we'll get that fixed. It seems like chat and Twitch is being just a little bit buggy today, so bear with us. Ready? Um, yes. <laughs> ba- back on topic, though. <coughs> back on topic. Yep, t- our, uh... oh, oh, we're starting. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, there we go. It's underway now. <laughs> Loadouts. Go! Water hazard is the map as we load in here. I was all tabbed. Oh, my goodness. Go ahead and take red team, Brick. Very well. On the kids with guns, Pat captained by Rigato. We have on the front a Artemis left side, um, rocket carousel mine, right side, rocket carousel mine. Interesting. And on the big stick piloted by uh, Trivi. We have a front Artemis, left side Artemis uh, Hades, and right side we have a flak Gatling gun. And finally, on the Azarin's warship, captained by Falcon, we have a Hades flak on front and a Flamer mine launcher on the side. Blue team, for blue team we have the, what is that name? <laughs> the cast of cast of cast of cast Steve Zilla tree QA Steve Zilla tree. I'm going to call it that. It's a mobula piloted by Sheem Zilla. Okay, he he oh dear. Carinade Flamer on the main deck, uh, on the bottom deck rather. Main deck is double Artemis, top deck is a Mercury. We also have the pointy spear, pointed stick. Piloted by Antoine Moon for the Brotherhood. And he's about to die. (laughs) Harpoons on the front. And I didn't see what was left. Harpoons were all across the front, though. And on the... uh, Which ship is this? Magnet piloted by Sir Morty. Right-hand side is Lumberjack Watcha. Left-hand side is Carinade Watcha with a Gatling and a flare for support. Is the other ship back? The... Um, the number five ship is not back yet. Oh, we lost a red ship, too. Uh, a Zazarin's warship did go down. Did you see what killed it? Um, yes, I believe it was focus fire from the Magna and the uh, Quest of Vizilla tree. Uh, <laughs> try saying that twice quickly. Um, uh, I wasn't serious. Don't try saying it twice quickly. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> the kids with guns taking cover behind... Um, uh, this sort of giant rock outcropping and this interesting looking building here. You know, we gave credit to the teams for keeping their team name uh, the same <laughs> as their clan, but then they 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 get some of these names out of the cupboard and I, I have to take that credit away. I, I don't know I if they've think. come out of the cupboards. May, maybe the mental asylum, uh, I would say. There, there, sick burn there from Brick Hardcastle. Uh, I was going to bring it up. <laughs> in any event, uh, the uh, big stick here getting focused out. Uh, armor getting strips. This is a very... Normally we see this devolve. Water hazard usually devolves to uh, brawling in most situations, but this is actually sticking to some mid-range engagements. Uh, odd to see, needless to say, but... We are definitely seeing some sniping going on. I see. Well, oh, looks like Kids With Guns is going to force the issue here. Coming around the corner, firing out mines on the Quest of Villatry and 
fair distance away. And uh, now the Quastra Villatry is sniping out the kids with guns. Kids with guns coming under a lot of pressure here. Uh, oh. Custom Villa, Quest, <laughs> QA Steve Zilla Tree putting a lot of pressure on the kids with guns. They've lost armor. Hull is starting to take some damage. That's just a little bit of chip damage, though. They're coming up on the magnet. They're going to bring some firepower on top of that, more than likely, while the My pointy goodness. spear attempts to assist. Oh, yeah. I mean, kids with guns here is is heading straight into Compton. And, a, oh, he has gotten harpooned. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I, I'm not kidding you. He got harpooned by the pointy spear there. I'm amazed that the kids with guns didn't die while uh, closing the distance there. Now Azarin's warship is coming in to supplement fire on the magnet. The, the, the magnet is tanking like an absolute boss in this situation. Every, oh, oof. I, I, I'm actually impressed at the engineering going on on the magnet right now. They're doing an amazing job of keeping the ship together. Uh, of the, the focused organization that it takes to do that. It's tough. It's very tough to do. Oh, Zazarin's warship losing its armor to the pointy spear. Oh, Harpooned taking again. Some, <laughs> taking some uh, Watcher shots at the unarmored hull. Oh, the pointy spear just kind of slingshots himself past there with the harpoon. Not uh, they were sure. obviously trying to get some kind of <laughs> ram going on, but they didn't. They weren't quite on target. I feel pointy spear deserves bonus points just for using a harpoon. Just for using double harpoon. <laughs> there we go, another hit with the harpoon, and I actually think it did some permahole there. It did. It did just a little bit of permahole. <laughs> it did a That's little crazy. bit of permahole. <laughs> <laughs> wow. the, they got another. Oh. They got another. <laughs> Uh, we're eating junker tonight. In any event, the Quasta Villatry is getting uh, blindsided from behind with a big stick with a gap flak. Oh, and he just hit a big mine from the kids with guns. Oh, my goodness. The pointy spear killed Ozazarin's warship with harpoons. Oh, I think that has to be a first for Guns of Icarus competitive play. <laughs> As big stick brings down the mobula with a much more conventional gap flag. I have no I have no comment. <laughs> Rarely do I am I so few of words. But... And a harpoon going down on the big stick impacting really? the balloon. Not well you see the harpoon's a very good weapon against the balloon. Does some good flechette damage. I mean it's not exactly a carronade, but it does no, good no. good damage. <laughs> Oh, and pointy uh, spear, Kumba stomping down the big stick. That's wow. A, dribbling the big stick here on the sea floor like Michael Jordan. That's that's actually pretty impressive. Uh, I didn't think the pointy spear would be much use. To the, oh, my God. <laughs> and another one. Mag no, Magnet got the kill. Magnet got the kill. Oh, okay. With that. Kids with guns now in a massive 3v1 scenario. I do not believe kids with guns is going to come out on top of this. They're low on permahull. Their armor has taken some shots. They're missing an engine already. They're just, they're not in a good place right now to fight off these three blue ships that are surrounding them. But Ozazarin's warship is steaming back. Never mind. Kids with guns goes warship down. needs to stop. Oh no, Ozazarin's warship. You don't want to, you don't want to get in there. And fortunately- oh, no, they've stopped. They've stopped their forward progression. Yeah. He, That's he, the he stops. <laughs> He quits while he was ahead. <laughs> Once again, thank you everyone for joining us here on Twitch.tv slash the Robin Dan Show for the Timmy B tournament. We're going to have the entirety of the tournament. I believe it is six weeks long here on the Robin Dan Show channel. But once again, we are going to have plenty of different casters coming in and being a part of this event. So look forward to that as the weeks go on. Once again, we thank you for taking the time to join us here for your Saturday afternoon or evening if you are across the pond. Mm -hmm. want, I, I will not forget about you guys, Rick. Yes. Yes. Don't you forget about us. Don't, 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 don't. As a certain 80s band once said. I thought you were making a reference to that. <laughs> oh, look, you bring me along. I'm going to make references to 80s songs, okay? I'm fine with this. I'm sorry. If, if you want to break out, take on me. I will sing with you. Take nope, on. nope, copyright. <laughs> copyright. <laughs> oh, God. We don't want to get in trouble with Twitch. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. 
Oh, it's it's so fun to have everyone here today. I, I've been looking forward to this for a while. This actually marks the start of our fall tournament season coming up here for you folks. In October, we have the charity tournament, the Steam and Iron tournament, I believe it's called. That's going to be a ton of fun. That's just going to be two weeks long, but it's going to be both Fridays and Saturdays. A very intense tournament with three different stream groups hosting it all at the same time. We'll have the multi-page set up for those that want to watch all streams at the same time as well. That's going to be a ton of fun. And then we have... Rick, you you guys are doing a little a little event called the Aerodrome. Oh yeah, just 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 a little thing called the Aerodrome. Uh, yeah, no big deal or anything. But uh, yes, it's going to be a very narrative focused three v three capture point event. It's going to tell a story of the players involved within the narrative world of Guns of Icarus, while also being a stonking good competitive free free versus free experience. It should be lots of fun. You guys have a new game mode that you're actually going to uh, uh, be using for that event, at least as far as I know. Can you guys talk about that at all? or is that Well, uh, I, I'm not at liberty to divulge. However, uh, there will be a special clan corner with Abby the Rat in September, where she'll be talking to Gilda with more exciting details about the Aerodrome tournament. Um, also, don't forget to check out Abby the Rat's Clan Corner for an interview with my good self and uh, Halo and Ref. Was that this week? Of the Bully Boys. Yes, it was. That was this week. There you go. Yes, there uh, you go. Kids with Guns, uh, while we do actually have a game going on here. Yes, indeed. Red Team is slowly, 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 slowly encroaching on Blue Team territory. Kids with Guns is coming around the far south side. He's going to have pretty darn good arcs on both the Mobula and the Magnet. Spots are already down on those ships, so Kids with Guns knows where it needs to go. It's soon going to be visible to both of these ships as well, though, as this cloud bank is slowly breaking around it. Yes, as, as I disengage shill mode there, <laughs> get back to casting Guns of Icarus. Is that, are kids, we calling it shill mode now? Yeah, shill mode, <laughs> obviously. Uh, kids with Guns has done a wide flank here. Actually, pretty well-timed with Azazin's warship. Not very well-timed with Big Stork, a Stick, though, which is miles behind. Um, and now, uh, Kids with Guns facing off against Magnet as Azazin's warship attempts to focus on Magnet. Oster, uh, Quasta Villatry coming up to join fighting kids with guns. Big stick, big stick is still miles away. I have no yeah, idea. They need to get in this here. fight. They're they're yeah. really kind of letting their team down in this situation. Not to not to be critical, but they they need to be in this fight at the same time. Kids with guns getting obliterated. Armor mm. is gone. Hull is already under half. Blue but, just comes back. But Quasta Villatry just took a bounce off the magnet, and that's turned in the wrong way. Better be careful about now, those mines, too. We got some mines coming out here. Azazin Warship's about to kill Quasta Villatry. Hull armor's down. The Permahull's taking shots. This is incredible. Quasta Villa... QA Steve Zilla Tree is, is taking a lot of fire on the rear, on the engine column there. Azazarin's warship is obliterating it. That engine column is just a big, juicy target. Their armor's gone. Hull is gone. They're gone. Um, Four to uh, three. I just don't understand why Pointy Spear did not target the Azazin's warship there. He just let his ally Mobula die, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like they were actually body... They were body blocking. I'm sorry, were body blocking. Oh, Pointy Spear oh, hitting a mine! Oh my goodness, just turned him all sorts of wrong way. Here, as the Magnet just getting blasted. Oh my good, I did not expect this engagement to go like this at all. Wow. My goodness. Magnet is definitely feeling the pain. Pointy Spear only able to do so much with those harpoons. Flamethrower is working hard, though. Ozazarin's warship getting the brunt of those harpoons and the flamer. Kids with guns, though, coming in, putting a lot of pressure on the Magnet. Armor is still down. Hull is hurting something fierce. Armor does come back up in time, though. And Two Big Stick, from a quick death. Big Stick is actually connecting with those Hades shots. I mean, there really is no reason he can't move in closer at this point, but he's still connecting. And there goes the Galleon. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I like, I like the Hades at mid range. I think it's a wonderful weapon, but it needs to be mid range. What they're trying to yeah. do right now is just <laughs> too long range. They're just outright sniping, and it's not really necessary. 
Yeah, they, they, they can get a little bit closer, get those shots consistent. I mean, I, I understand when veteran teams really try to use the maximum range of the Artemis and the Hades, but this is not one of those situations. Uh, this is a relatively new Brotherhood team that's trying to do this, and I think they could, they, they just need to get a little closer, make sure they're luring the arcs properly, you know, making those shots hit. And then. And that, talking of which, Azazin's warship is flying too close, or <laughs> Big Stick is a little bit too far away. Mm hmm. That's true. That's um, very true. Yeah, but however, Magnet did not spawn in a very good place here. He's a, as, When Azazin's warship turns around, he's going to get double Hades flacked. Yeah, those Hades shots are starting to connect. The Artemis are definitely starting to connect from Big Stick. Um, the the fact that these newer players are connecting so well, that's, that's pretty impressive. Magnet losing its armor, Hull taking flak shots, getting ground down to just about a third before armor comes back up. Pointy Spear not able to do anything beyond body block right now. Only one gun is up, two engines available on that ship. Magnet losing its armor again. Hull is taking some very major hits. Black shot's coming in and finishing it off. Yes. Oh, Pointy Spear takes a huge mine hit there, taking down the armor. He might potentially get finished off by the carousel, the mine carousel combination there, taking him down. Wow. Very impressed by what the red team has been able to do. They've come oh. back from a big deficit of four to two. Absolutely. And they could win this with a kill on the Mobula here. And is gone. It, it looks like that's exactly what's about to happen. Oh. Another big mine hit. Excellent. Wow. Impressive stuff from all people, and especially the red team, though. They came back from a deficit. They did a great job of doing so. I, I, I really, I'm very impressed. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it took a little bit, I think, for um, Assassin's Warship and the big uh, stick to find the right sort of uh, place to place those Hades flak. But when they did, it was solid, very good shooting. And uh, yeah, it just took out the blue team. Great job by all teams involved. Once again, this is the Timmy B tournament, and we're ever so grateful that you decided to join us here for your Saturday afternoon. I know... In the UK, the new episode of Doctor Who just finished. And those of you that decided to skip out on it, <laughs> uh, you made a big, a, 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 a big sacrifice. A worthy you. sacrifice, mind there you. There you go. A very worthy sacrifice. <laughs> um, thank God that the new episode of Doctor Who over here is until tonight. Yes, indeed. Well... The good doctor aside, we will soon be moving on to the fourth and final game of the night, I believe. I, uh, actually, there's only three. On? Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, no, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Scared me there for a second. I'm like, I'm not prepared uh, okay. for this. <laughs> no. Some of these, some of these oh, games sorry. took a lot less time than was scheduled, so we are going to be finishing <sighs> just a little bit early tonight. Just a little bit early. I want to thank you all for joining us here. Appreciate it here on twitch.tv slash the Robin Dan show next week, week two of the Timmy B tournament brick. Thank you for stepping in today. Uh, it was a little last minute as Oracle was not able to uh, do anything this weekend. Uh, by the way, there will be no meta minion as far as I know, at least for the weekend. Um, thank you for stepping in for this week. Appreciate it. Yes, uh, I was glad to be here. Uh, nice to be back casting again. And yeah, Oracle, looking forward um, to you coming back soon. And imagine, I love you, buddy. Don't, don't worry. I'm, I'm just <laughs> messing with you. We cool. We cool. There we ne go. Next week, we'll hopefully have you, Brick, and another certain Daniel individual joining us. Mm -hmm. It's a possibility. Wink, possibility. wink, nudge, nudge. Say no more. We'll try to grease the gears, as one might say, using uh -huh. a... Uh, I see what I did there. <laughs> oh, we'll yeah, try, see we'll try to make it happen. Also, okay. we will like to get all the other casters we have available on uh, during some point in the Timmy B tournament. Cycle everyone in, get you guys talking about your streams. Speaking of which, good brick, sir, where will you guys be streaming tomorrow? You and Morty. Do you know? Well, um... <laughs> will that, is, is it going to be on Morty's stream? Most likely, yes, All it right. will be a Morty stream. He is that is more experienced than me. That is twitch.tv slash awesome Morty. It's just his personal channel, although I do believe he's thinking about moving it to a more uh, professional group channel eventually here. Uh, for tomorrow, though, it will be 
twitch.tv slash awesome Morty. Also, if Imagine is streaming tomorrow, again, I'm not sure if he is, but if Imagine is streaming tomorrow, that'll be twitch.tv slash imagine42. Twitch.tv slash imagine42 for the Sunday community skirmish. But that being said, for Brick Hardcastle, for Rob, I have been Dan. This has been week one of the Timmy B tournament. And we want to thank you for joining us here, right here on twitch.tv slash the Robin Dan show. See you, Space Cowboy. <laughs>